Uh, in related news, the Senate rejects, but barely rejected the FBI surveillance expansion, um, a vote of 58 to 38, uh, two votes shy of the 60 votes needed for the amendment to move forward. Uh, this expansion was sponsored by John McCain, a uh, great senator from <laughs> yeah, the senator from Arizona. Um, John McCain said that the FBI needs more power, needs more power to combat radicalization on the Internet. Uh, and he used the appeal to authority here. He said every law enforcement agency in America supports uh, this amendment. Um, the 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 bill the amendment failed today, but it isn't going away. Um, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell actually uh, immediately reintroduced um, a filed a motion to reconsider the amendment. All right. So just in in terms of why this particular bill and it's. It's riding on the heels of this Islamophobic, uh, Islamophobia, uh, fear of, of ISIS in the wake of um, in the wake of the Orlando shooting. Right. It's like they're trying to get everything in they can right now. Um, but uh, the bill would expand the scope of information the FBI can collect simply by sending a, a technology or Internet company uh, with a national security letter without court approval first so essentially the uh, fbi would just be able to send over a letter to uh let's say google and demand google send any metadata that they have about your activity on the internet uh whether it be your history your browsing history ip addresses that you um social media activity and email history anything that that company has access to the fbi would be able to send over a letter a national security letter that's not an actual court order and demand um the 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 records uh in addition to them being able to demand the records it comes with an associated gag order so said uh technology or internet company could not go to the public and say the government is coming after your stuff in fact they couldn't say anything because of the gag order this is the policy that they have this is the amendment rather that they have gathered uh, bipartisan support in the Senate. 11 Democratic senators actually voted in favor of it. Uh, and the only reason it didn't pass, um, uh, Senator Feinstein uh, was not there. She and another, uh, uh, I believe a Republican who could have uh, put this over the top, they were not there. And so it did not pass. So it doesn't mean that it's gone away. It means that it just lived to fight another day uh, or lived to screw America another day. Um, I love I don't know what I am sorry I don't remember who I saw it um, but there was a headline from one of these media outlets that said um, we're not coming from your gun we're not coming for your guns uh, we're coming for your browser history we're coming for your cookies we're coming for everything um, we're coming the big brother is coming and now here's the interesting thing that I read in the intercept is that in a lot of ways the FBI already has uh, this access and this privilege of just simply filing a letter. However, because the language in the uh, in the legislation was not 100 uh, percent legal proof, it gave companies an out and the ability to reject um, reject this national security letter. And this amendment simply is sent out to correct uh, that language. And so it is a further expansion, but it's also a correction on the the rights that the FBI already has to do this. These are the types of things that happen when we allow fear and a, a particular narrative to take root. And again, you have to ask yourself the question if these, and, and I will, you don't, you may not want to ask, this may be a clear cut thing for you. In a lot of ways, it is a clear cut thing for me, but I still have to ask myself the question in these scenarios, if it prevented a mass sh shooting, a terrorist act, if it actually did that, would it have been worth our sacrifice? And of course, I'm reminded of the Benjamin Franklin uh, quote that a person who's willing to trade um, freedom for security ends up with neither. I get that. Right. But. Still, it's worth asking the question. Now, I want to couch this in terms of the very persistent narrative that the media is pushing about Orlando 
while completely erasing all of the other subtleties, not even subtleties, all of the other glaring realities about what happened in Orlando. And the reason they're doing that is because, I, I mean, I, I honestly, I honestly can't think of any other reason they would 100% ignore the very real implications of, of Omar Mateen's sexuality, of his domestic abuse, of his power complex, of, of his self-loathing and self-hatred. Um, there was even a report that, um, um, that he was angry. Um, I don't have the source off the top of my head. I apologize, but you can Google it, uh, that he was angry because he found out he had slept with a man that was HIV positive. Let's completely forget about all of those things, which are probably more realistic in terms of triggers for a mass shooting than just someone who got radicalized online and targeted an LGBTQ club. Right. They want us to genuinely believe that he got radicalized online and went after the LGBTQ club because of how much Islam uh, is homophobic. And they've sunk their teeth into this narrative to the point where they have not they have sucked all the oxygen out of the room, the airtime off the radio waves where no one is really discussing all of the complex things that were going on in this sick man's life that are probably the exacerbating tr the trigger. And I realized that the reason they're doing this, and now this week we see Democrats and Republicans both forwarding for political expediency, um, they are both forwarding um, different pieces of legislation and amendments to legislation bills uh, that could only pass in the climate where everyone is afraid for their life, just like post line. That's that 912 spirit that Hillary Clinton said that we should have right now. We should have a 912 spirit where everyone was afraid. Everyone was afraid we were going to be attacked, and therefore we were willing to turn over our civil liberties.